If you guys hate cardio like us, here are gonna be five awesome variations to help you guys get to the next level, whether you wanna lose weight, gain muscle, whatever it is that aren't boring um, and aren't machines. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, and this is my personal favorite, this is basically a whole body exercise, is tire flips. It's gonna kind of mock the deadlift from the start. You're gonna sit really low, posture that back, kind of rip it through, and then you're really gonna use those hips. The hip extension is a big portion of this because that's how you're gonna transfer weight into this pushing position to push the tire over and complete your rep. So this exercise from the get-go is working everything, right? You're sitting down, you got a ton of engagement in the hamstrings, obviously your calves, everything, your glutes are all engaged. You got a big hip thrust, right? You're really working your core in that section. And you got that push, which you're getting a bit of chest. So this is a fantastic exercise and it is incredible cardio. You will be so out of breath. So I'm gonna demonstrate a rep for you. So you're sitting low, chest up. For me, um, some people will start with their hips a little bit more shot. I like to sit low so I can practice for my deadlift. I'm on those heels. You scoop under as fast as you can from here. Put those hips in. Then you can see I get that transfer. Then you push. Here's it in fast mode, guys. You wanna kill these. All right guys, number two, this has always been my personal favorite. I've been doing it for years. Battle ropes, these are fantastic. These will tax you at the very end of your workout. It's great because you can target so many different muscles. Really work in your upper body, you can find ways to work your core. There's just so many different things. So starting off guys, you want a shoulder width position, slight bend in the knees, chest up, common mistake. A lot of people are falling forward like this. You just want nice and strong, drive the quads into the ground. So many different ways you can work different muscle groups. Two arms at a time, nice and fast. You get a lot of, um, a lot of arms. Here like this, you're getting a lot of shoulders. Okay, switching it like this, you're getting obliques. Okay, so many different things. Try it out. And for a lot of you guys that don't have access to ropes or they're too heavy for you, we've got a lot of clients that are kind of working into being able to do the ropes. We've set this little thing up over here and basically you're just gonna have two bands. It's a lot lighter, it's a lot easier for you, but the main thing is it's all about intensity. So it's not about how heavy it is, it's about how hard you go for a certain amount of time. So let's show you how it's done. Grab two bands right here. We'll do the different variations again. Just <clears throat> nice and strong. You go for 30 seconds, you're done. <sighs> Switch it up, shoulders, all that good stuff. Try it out. Number three, and this one is a banger. Unfortunately, if you don't have access to a power sled, you're a little bit screwed, but there are there is an alternative, which Kyle is gonna show you quickly next, that you can do as long as you have turf. So the power sled is great. It's just like insane on the legs, right? So a lot of people make the mistake of trying to push with their arms, but you actually want a full extension of those arms, get really low, get your chest underneath your arms, and be on the balls of your feet like a sprinter, and you're just gonna move those legs to get that sled moving. You wanna get that friction and that power. A good analogy is like a boat, right? Front of the boat doesn't do anything, you just want it up there where you have the engine in the back and you're just moving, 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 pushing it forward. So check it out. So for me, I like to get stance, make sure my arms are really extended. I'm right under with my chest. See, I'm on the balls of my feet and now it's all about speed. So you're gonna feel this in your glutes like no tomorrow, your hamstrings. Now if, you, if you're crazy and you wanna try low variation, this is gonna kill your quads. So, gotta extend out. Get right under it, nice and low, and power through step after step. Now, for those of you who don't have access to one of these sleds right here, all you need is a metal plate. We're gonna use a calibrated one right here. It's gonna be nasty on your quads. Just get nice and low, drive through the legs. Exact same principle as the sled push, except you're a lot lower and you're not using a sled. Let's get it. So before we move into number four, make sure to download our free form guide. First link in the description. It's a very comprehensive guide to help you guys get to the next level. Um, as you guys can see, it's a PDF with like at least 30 exercises. Go through that, take it to the gym, and it'll help you guys propel to the next level. Next up, guys, number four, medicine ball slams. This is a fantastic full body exercise. You're raising overhead, you're getting some shoulder activation. Great for your core. You're getting some kind of squat in. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks. So the difference between any of these exercises, a lot of people will do them, but without too much intensity. Some people We'll start like this, throw it down, and then and then just pick it up. That's not how you do it, guys. You want intensity for every one of these. Just like this. Catch it at the bottom, follow it down, and squat. That's how you do it. Number five, the last one, my favorite, are the kettlebell squat swings. These are not just kettlebell swings. Kettlebell swings, your hips are a little higher and you're kind of just pushing through the hip. I find them a little bit more sketchy. Kettlebell squat swings are a lot better because it's really full body. You're coming low into that squat, powering out through those hips, getting a full raise of that shoulder raise. Just fantastic, kind of works everything. So that's why I prefer that over its alternative. 
And if you guys don't have access to a kettlebell, don't fret. You can use anything. You can use a 10 pound plate. You can use a 10 pound dumbbell. There are no excuses. They're pretty much alternatives to all of these with the exception of tire flip. You can always just do a set of deadlifts for 12. That is cardio enough. Trust me there. So for this, I'm squatting low, chest is up. I'm swinging through, big raise into those hips. Boom, hips. Big squat. So you don't want to do your normal kettlebell swing, which is like this kind of, not a huge fan. I like that big squat, big for us. Way better cardio. Okay, obviously when you do these guys for cardio, you gotta know time frames, um, intensities, kind of like zones of how much active and rest you need to actually do these for effective cardio. That can really vary based on the person, so you can play around with it. Or another great alternative is to look for an online coach. Myself and Kyle are actually looking for a few more clients, so if there's something you wanna explore, we'll walk you through everything you need. That's uh, nutrition, that's training, that's lifestyle, that's just oversight. Someone to look at all your form program, take everything out of your hands, make fitness so easy where you literally just need to look at the instructions, check each day off and you will transform yourself guys so hopefully you enjoy this video if you did smash that like button subscribe to our channel we're always pumping out great content we'll see you in the next video